Now, if you're thinking about dessert and you're thinking about 4th of July, ice cream comes to mind and what better place to go than Franklin Fountain. We've got Ryan Burley here, co-founder of Franklin Fountain. It's a favorite at our house. You have so many wonderful treats. And he's been telling me about the root beer floats connection to Philly. We invented it like so many things. Uh, the root beer float and the ice cream soda both birthed here in our fair city. Who knew? Well, we've been making root beer floats for a long time, and it's one of my favorite things, and I'm, I'm here to make you one and uh, tempt all of those uh, viewers. Yeah, and you guys make your own root beer. Indeed. And obviously they make the ice cream as well. And really, it, you got to get in there, as you were saying, you got to get the ice cream oh. in there to make it all come together. Yeah, you want that fizzy yeah. uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And then when you, uh, you take the ice cream, you let it melt out a little bit mm -hmm. so it's... You get better flavor when it's melted and just plop it right in there. Yep. Don't be uh, afraid to You can't be bashful with agitate that. it no. uh, with your straw. So go ahead, Jess. See, oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we're yes. gonna overflow. Oh, you better <laughs> sip. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. So refreshing. Wow. And a Philadelphia a true Philadelphia classic, the root beer and the ice cream float. The root beer float, definitely a Philadelphia yeah, classic. Charles E. Hires invented it. He was a pharmacist here in Old City, right around the block, and they were looking for a drink uh, that was a soft drink, and they thought a beer would um, appeal to the working men of the day who were used to drinking real beer. So root beer was sort of uh, an in-between. An in-between. Well, we can all enjoy it now. Thank you, Indeed Ryan, for stopping can. by. We're